Brian Pate here. Let's take a look at our energy tile with our Capto unit. I'm gonna pull up a stroke I already have on file here. So as we're looking at the energy tile, the very top it says total energy balance. Throughout the stroke, how much energy is lost from the putter transmission and the speed into the golf ball. So if we start with the top one, the first one's gonna be you know, the shaft to arc roll. How much loft or dynamic loft do we have? Did we take the loft, so say this putter had four degrees, when this is hanging plumb neutral, if I had four degrees of shaft lean, now the loft in the putter is gonna be zero. So how do we kind of return this back to the golf ball? What the arc was doing through impact, was that rising or decreasing? So positive 0.6, it was slightly upwards. And then what's that doing to the golf ball? So we can see dynamic loft is about 0.5 degrees on it. So if this had four degrees, shaft lean was probably about three and a half. And I can go back and click on the shaft. The shaft is two and a half. The arc is 0.6 up. And because the shaft was leaning 2.5 degrees forwards, this putter I have it in as three degrees. So now as we go back to our energy, we'll have to change our thoughts. The loft is three degrees. The shaft leaning was slightly forward. So at impact, there is 0.5 degrees at impact. The next tile here, let me get back onto that screen. Clicked back to the main one. There we go. So that's giving us a top spin energy, or are we under spinning it? So that one's saying that we're adding a little bit of energy with the roll, with more of a true roll, as opposed to something that's skidding of 0 0.0 or 0.2%. So I just added a little bit of energy with that. If I was hitting down, adding a bunch of loft, and that ball was popping up and spinning backwards, that'd be taking off some speed of the ball roll, because I'd be deflecting it more with the loft and the attack angle. The next one is the face the path spin. So the track through the shot was 1.5 degrees to the right. My face was aimed one degree right, so that's a difference of 0.5. And that doesn't have a lot of deflecting through the shot. So if my putter was traveling across the target line or my putter had a nice arc, but the face was open or closed, that would deflect the golf ball more, just like in our wedges it'd be slowing the golf ball down off the putter. In this example, it was a pretty neutral strike. So the energy loss was only 0.1%. So it's very, very small. The next one is the torque. And we have a talk on this little tile already, but where are we hitting the putter in the face? Are we hitting on the toe, the heel, or are we hitting it in the sweet spot? The more we can find the sweet spot, the more the energy is going to transfer from the putter blade onto the golf ball in that stroke. So on this one, the putter MOI, it shows up that I have it at 1.1 kilograms. And then the torque is minus 3.7%. So I struck it slightly on the heel. So these three tiles with the rise angle or the attack angle and the loft that I'm presenting the path and the face relative to it, and also how solid I'm hitting it in the middle of the face, these are all things that could deflect the energy from the putter face onto that golf ball. So there's a quick little look at this tile. So as we're rolling these balls down the end or towards your target, that one came off a little left, so I know the face was slightly closed but it's gonna give me some energy balance numbers. And if we can keep that within minus 5% or so, we're doing pretty well. If we get something that's too drastic, can we fix our loft delivery? Can we fix our path to face delivery? Or is it something that we're missing the sweet spot in the face? Any of those or all those could clean this up so we can have better ball control in controlling the speed for the distance we're trying to go.